welcome back to today's tutorial yes this is a part two of the previous uh, video we dropped in on our channel which is under the topic of um, different types of hacks and uh, their names so guys today we we'll have to continue from the last video yes today i'm actually going to be sharing with you the experience i had with a client that asked me to make a hat for her she actually saw one of the hats i made on tutorial on um, on youtube tutorial and asked me to make one for her she stayed a, a bit far from me so i was like um and she's the type that wouldn't want to share her face or show me her face or something but i did know that uh, there was a need yeah experience is the best teacher actually uh i didn't know there was a need for me to just ask her her, her um head size like um, what kind of hats does she wear and all that she just showed me the design and i was i charged her she accepted and i decided to make the i started making the hat when it was ready it was uh time for me to deliver what i do most times is just i'll take a video a short video of it or i'll snap and send if you like it then i'll deliver the hat so now the thing is that she paid me halfway which i don't really accept most times so what i i didn't actually because it's the first time it's um it's not a distance it's not like it's far for the first time i was like okay let me just make this hat so she will know that it's not like she hasn't seen my hat she saw my hat and she insisted i make that exact style for her so just let me treat let me be nice so let me just be nice that was what i did so she paid me halfway because she at first she was like telling me that i'll have to make the hat and bring to her before before um she can pay me i was like no it's not possible i can't do that it's not possible it's not even um ethically right <laughs> so she was like okay that um for her to call me that I should know that it's actually um, it's something that she wants. I said, ma, I have met with so many customers and I know a, a, everybody would want to actually play this trust um, thing. But I, I have trust issues though. Yeah, it's not my fault. I have trust issues because I hardly trust people. If you tell me you are going to do something for me, and um, <laughs> especially when I don't really know you, and you say I will do it, I, to me, what it implies is the opposite of what I say. That is for me. So that's for me. So I have that issue with me. So I don't know if it's good or not, but it has actually been working for me. I don't easily trust you. So. She insisted that, okay, that she wasn't going to pay. And then I said, maybe she should just leave it. I can't do a hat without you even paying up front. Because if, the, if you decide to go through the website, you have to pay before they deliver to you, isn't it? So she said, eh, it's not, she's not going to the website and all that. She's calling me direct. I said, I've not actually met you before. What, do you, what makes you feel that I will so much trust you that when I finish the hat, you are going, going to pay me all my money? You understand? Even though I know I'm good at what I do to an extent so she said okay that she was going to pay more than half then um, I'm going to do this I'm going to do this. she started bringing up some things that I was I, I just said okay she said I was going to give a uh, give a, I, I'm, I'm, I was actually going to drop give her something like do something for her little girl I said no problem and I told her no problem, that that's not an issue, but let her just pay something I know that will cover the cost of the hat and a little bit of my stress, you understand? So, I, and then she paid, then I started making the hat. When I finished making the hat, I sent her the picture, she was really so happy and she was really impressed. Now it was time for me to deliver. I told her she was going to pay for the delivery. That I wasn't going to be coming. That she will have to pay the delivery man that would um, come for the hat. She insisted that she wanted to meet me. That she had always been watching my YouTube. Like I was saying. So she insisted that I was going to come and deliver. Then I got so worried. I was like, at, at some point I was really scared. I was like, what is actually wrong with this client? This, I know this is things that I should have discussed before 
doing the heart. But I felt it's something that, um, you know, at times, out of default, will be like, mm, she knows the, the rules. Mm, out of default, she said, mm, she knows the rules, you understand? So I felt she already knows the rules that it's actually going to be from, um, it's, it's going to be delivered to, um, by a delivery man. So uh, she insisted I was going to come that um, she wanted to give me the money in cash and I, will go, I got to worry because when I made the heart, I was like, okay, now you've seen your heart, I need my balance. She said, no, and I was going to bring it and she will see it before she pays, pays me my balance. Someone I hadn't met before. Do you know I got so scared that I told my husband about it. I told him that this is where I'm going to because I agreed at some point because I had no other thing. I, I had no other reason. I needed to just keep the heart, end the business and move on. You understand? So I had to tell my husband that, okay, see, this is where I'm going to. I will tell you when I get there. In a few minutes, you call me. You understand? So all those things were because I was scared. So when she told me I must come, I got worried, like I said. So when I set out and the place was a bit far from my place, so I had to go from work. I carried the hat, went to work. Actually, I do other things aside from hat millinery. I am a marketer in an insurance company, American International Insurance to be precise. Yeah, I'm a marketer there. Um, most times they call us agents or something. Yeah. Yes, so in Nigeria, we see market insurance. It's not like it's mandatory as it is in your state if you are from a well-developed country. So here we still market insurance. And if you think um, you're interested in any of the insurance um, plans or policy, please reach out to me. My number is always on the screen. It should be here or here. Okay, so let's fast forward to I got there. I called my husband. I told him, okay, please do call me in the next 10 minutes. If you don't hear from me, start calling. <laughs> so... <laughs> That was what it is. And when I met this woman, no offense. She's far from being harmful. She, first of all, when I eventually met her, that was before I met her, I was so scared. But you, you know you can't actually determine from look from the look of the person. From the look of the person, you can't actually determine who is harmful or not. So, when I got there, I called my husband, like I said, in 10 minutes, he should call me. Then when I called the woman, I was at the location she wanted me to be. But I actually decided to stay at the bus stop where I saw people were much. So, I told her that I'm already at the bus stop. She told me I should be coming down to her house. I said, madam, I can't. She said I should just speak to one of the bike men. Here in Nigeria, we use mostly bike, uh, that's a motorbike, um, they call it um, tricycle, and uh, we also use buses, and we use cars as a means of transportation. So she said I should um, take a bike, that the bike man knows um, the husband well. I should just call one name that they will take me to the house. The fear in me tripled. I was like, is this what I'll be soft? I'll have to suffer just to sell this one hat. One hat, one, one. My dear, after this experience, I cancelled the issue of delivering myself because I, I, it's not even in my thing to do. So when I got there, I called, I said I was going to, I, I should just take a bike that any random bike would know her. So far they are in, the, in, the, in, in that location. So more like they have this little park where all the bike men stay. So I should just speak to one of them there. So one thing else gave me the idea that, okay, since she can actually buy all, buy off all the people here, you understand? I mean, I just asked a woman that sells about the person. She said she, does, she didn't know the person. Okay. So I, I left the bike man. I'm, this is my confession thing. <laughs> I asked two or two to three people, they said, oh, they are, yeah, they know the man, um, so, 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 that he's a good person. I said, 
is it okay for me to just go that this is where I'm going to basically they said no I should go that they, they even have children uh, in social -so school you understand so I know it's not too it's not enough for me to go there but I just needed to do something just to create <laughs> something create an awareness and so also person gave me an ask such question so I now took a bike I saw a bike man and the bike, bike man said he knows the place so he drove me to the place I stood outside I called her as okay I'm already at her place she said she was coming she opened the gate and um, yeah I saw how the kids playing in the compound like you know the fear in me was like 100 <laughs> percent the team dropped to 50 percent i was a bit scared but not as scared as what how i was before she, i saw her in person so i was really looking around and one thing i noticed that she would she didn't really wanted me to enter her house you understand she also was a bit scared <laughs> she also was a bit scared yes i could see this the fear in her too more like she's welcoming a total stranger into the house and she was like she didn't want um i think her husband was around then i think her husband yeah her husband her husband was around so she now asked me how i located wasn't it easy as she described i said okay it was but it wasn't that easy when you check because i didn't tell her i was scared when you check the aspect of being scared so that was what it is and um after that we she saw the heart and now what brought up the story the issue of head size so she tried it she was like ah, but she wants the thing to enter the, the head to enter her head very well that she wants um the head brim you understand i mean the head crown end where it joins the crown you understand the crown and the brim together should be here do you understand it so i was like um then i knew that i had already made a mistake for not asking her her head size so now i worry not they carry lats i'm not a worried girl but there's this face they call they say in nigeria worry not they carry lats you know you will get another carry lats now eh we will always find something if you're a businessman you always find a way to you know prove yourself right you understand so she was like there are hats that she bought in the market that um, when she wore them she wears them it's and it swallows the head and the whole thing like madam this is totally different the ones you're talking about at some point i was like ah, let me even see this hat she's talking about she was actually talking about so I said, said that and she said that she gets me one of those hats she feels because I was like why will your heart go into your head totally and the the joining point of the crown and the brim will not be here how will it look your whole face will be hidden now so I was just like I, these are things that I was that was going on in my mind you understand so I was like okay what will happen is that give me let me see this hat you have been hammering on since let me just know what actually went wrong here because this my hat is made from beginning i had to buy the crown buy the brim buy the material and made the hat from scratch so please let me see the hat you're talking about because i know we really well here in nigeria that um, um most times we don't really take convincent of a head crown we just buy ah this is the design my customer wants they, they will just buy and go but please it's way beyond that you just have to be cautious and um conscious of the client's head size to know the best of what you should give her so that she will always come back so fast forward she went in brought the hat and um, i was just you know this thing that you just roll your eye one side like that was what i did i was like mana these are already made hats then actually what she went to bring was a straw hat which um of course you know you lose some parts you just design all those quick hats they make in the market so that was what she got she was yeah 
if you know the praises she had been hammering on those hats when i saw it even her she was shy to continue talking i'm not trying to brag but you know i have one of the strong hats here even i tried in my own hat so her own you will even see different things but i just kept quiet say, ah, okay this hat actually it was made that way and it was sold in market that way all the person did was just to lose some parts and just used to embellish that she didn't have to use and um, do the hat from beginning just as we do this one that you don't block this type you know the rubber i'm going to show the picture here if eventually i get a picture you know those kind of rubber straws <laughs> so those type they don't mold them this and that. i had to start giving her lectures oh my dear so that was what happened and um she later got convinced that okay she took it ah, this and that i put feather made everything beautiful now while well, i hate so that was what happened and um fast forward she collected and i even did for her princess i did for her daughter and she liked the one i gave her daughter sorry i keep belgium she likes the one i gave her daughter she she gave me my balance and i ran i didn't even think she was going to call me again i thought the whole thing had even ended there when i got home after two days she called me ah i guess because i delivered it on a friday saturday sunday she wore it to church so it gave her people complimented the heart and she was really happy so she called me she was like ah and one thing about this client is that I don't know, I, I don't know if eventually she watches this, she will be like, ah, first day. But all the same, it's a good testimony time. So one thing about this client is that she doesn't really wants to give you 100% that you tried. She wants to take some part of the praise to herself, like, Mm, you know that face mm, yeah well you you tried you try uh, i received a lot of compliments you know but you know now i want the next one you do for me to enter the head very well <laughs> I like, so we are going to do this thing again hey we are going to do this thing again but see i really appreciate that customer she did a lot of hats for me I'm happy that yes we didn't start from we didn't start her but um she she's one of my good customers <laughs> when she sees this video because she views my youtube channel she'll be like and she will call me and say I saw your video but all the same what I'm trying to say is that try as much as possible to always ask their head circumference is they feel that me i can't go through the stress so why would i be telling you my head circumference what do you want to use it for you say i'm a hat maker i need to know the one that fits you exactly so that when you wear it you'll be happy you have something you understand so these are things you tell them and um when they eventually send try as much as possible to do something even if you didn't get the exact hat mode find a way to just make it work that that's what makes you a melina you understand so that's that for that and um every other story i think we will be doing story time in this channel so because i have a lot of experiences that i need to share and i know you that is watching you have a lot of experiences and i also want you guys to share your experiences with me i can also come on board come on this channel ask some do them tell you some stories or people's experiences then ask okay in if you are in this situation if you are in this um um point what do you think you would do so that we can actually profile solutions to other people that needs our help so guys um i'm going to be ending the part two now so that we can move to part three then i'll end it all with the rest of the modes that i'll be showing you guys I know it's very long, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Love you and keep watching. It's your fessy.